Yeah, so we got an email from the editor of this very prestigious journal saying that this article has been accepted. The editor of this prestigious journal referred to this article as historic. So we're having a very good day. <laughs>30 years of learning how to do what you need to do, often in, in the face of a lot of skepticism, right, and, uh, and not terribly misplaced skepticism, right? This is very difficult, and there are a lot of people who said it would never happen. Nothing like this has ever been done before. It's an antihydrogen atom. It just doesn't exist in nature. It's never, never be, before been, been trapped on Earth. It just doesn't, doesn't live there. Um, so we, we held these atoms for a thousand seconds. What we did at the end of last year was actually look at the first microwave interactions with antihydrogen. If there's any risk at all of it falling apart or breaking something, the ceramics, that would, that would put us back for weeks. The problem is that this stick that I was trying to build, the most expensive piece of equipment on it is very delicate and we didn't open it because it's not supposed to be exposed to air. In retrospect, we obviously should have opened it because when we opened it, we discovered that the engineer hadn't provided an adequate means to attach it to the stick. So now we're scrambling to figure out ways that we can attach it to the stick. Um, and it's quite delicate and it's quite expensive. I lean towards tying it on with wire. I, I won't quite say over my dead body, but... Uh... What we work here is really specialized and really at the cutting edge. We're making new things as we go on. You can always sketch something on paper, but when you, it actually has to be constructible in a workshop by a guy with, with tools. Um, that's a big limitation. If you could just magically make something, it would be a lot easier for us. Sorry, this is the frame. This is the frame. Yeah. And then just something that goes like this. You can make that strong enough to... To hold it, yeah. To hold it. That's the question. So what has to happen before it all starts working again? Everything. <laughs> it's not like you get a script to, okay, we're going to trap antihydrogen. It's day after day, many, many small decisions to separate what's the most profitable approach. They don't, they don't come with a sticker on them saying, I'm the right way to go. This is about that creative ability to recognize how to proceed in, in a forest of possibilities of how to proceed. That, that's the, the experimenter's art.